I'm going to take a look at a commercial MRE, or civilian MRE. This is another one from XMRE. It can be found at xmremeals.com. And this one is menu number three. Chicken pesto pasta. You do have a sticker on the back that gives you all the components. But I think it's more fun to open it up and see what's inside of it. This is the fourth one I've done from a half case of six. And they all have the same date code on them of 5041 or February 10th, 2015. Go ahead and see what's inside this one. There's the chicken pesto pasta. Chicken pesto pasta has been around for a number of years. And uh, believe it or not, it's actually one that I've never tried. So this will be my first time trying this. This is the XMRE thermal sleeve. Flameless ration heater. Hot beverage bag. The information card for the chicken pesto pasta. And see, it tells you it's a uh, chicken based meal. Gives you 370 calories and 29 grams of protein. Also gives you the ingredients. You can pause here if you want to read these and the nutrition facts. You can pause here if you want to read these too. Also gives you uh, suggestions for how to heat this. And we have vegetable crackers and apple jelly for those. Like with a lot of civilian MREs uh, that get the components from the companies that make the genuine MREs, there is some uh, variation in the uh, packaging dates. The meal itself was sealed in February 2015, but this uh, entree came from the 224th day of 2014. That's not too bad. The vegetable crackers are from the 175th day of 2013. And the apple jelly is from the 239th day of 2014. We also have an oatmeal cookie from the 142nd day of 2013. Orange beverage-based powder. XMRE seems to stay away from the carbohydrate electrolyte powders. And we have a nut raisin mix in one of the XMRE packages. This was actually bagged specifically for XMRE. And the thing to keep in mind with these is, unlike everything else in here, this is the one thing you're going to need something to open it up with because there are no tear notches on these bags at least as of 2015 anyway. And the XMRE accessory pack. Which gives you a standard brown MRE spoon. Instant coffee, creamer, and a couple of sugars for that. Salt and pepper. and a moist towelette, and a napkin. Go ahead and heat up the entree and the Flimbus ration heater. And I'm going to do something that I don't usually do, and also heat up the coffee with the Flimbus ration heater too. Give that a few seconds horizontal to get the water into the heating elements, which seems to be doing pretty good. Put the whole thing into the thermal sleeve. I think I should have done this before adding the water. It's very hot. Quite done with this yet. 
Let's put this on the rock or something. Make up the coffee. Now you could uh, add the dry stuff into here first. But the instructions do say to add the water first. That makes sense because you want to make sure you have the right amount. Not that it's that big of a deal for instant coffee, but you're supposed to add six ounces of water. Go to there. And we'll go ahead and add the coffee. Creamer. Sugar to that. Squeeze most of the air out of the bag. Seal it back up. And give that a good shake. It's like coffee with some, uh, well, not really <laughs> well mixed up uh, creamer. And I'm just going to slide this right into the other side of the pouch here. So it's in contact with the other side of the heating elements. We'll leave that on the rock or something for about 10 minutes. And we'll see what else we have. Alright, we'll take a look at our oatmeal cookie. Big cookie in here. The vegetable crackers. Give them a little, a little bit of the apple jelly. Looks good. And we have the XMRE nut raisin mix. This mix, as you can see, has sunflower seeds. It also has unsalted peanuts, black raisins, and almonds. And surprisingly enough, this whole thing is pretty much unsalted. It only has five milligrams of sodium. And since we already used the hot beverage bag for the coffee, we can use a glass with 12 ounces of water in it, the orange beverage base powder. I definitely prefer having these in the hot beverage bag as you can shake it up really good. These um, non carbohydrate electrolyte powders tend to be hard to get totally mixed up. You can see this is a, a darker color orange, a little more opaque than uh, the uh, carbohydrate electrolyte ones, which are more like sports drinks. This is probably more like a breakfast drink type of thing. And that just leaves us with the entree and the coffee. Let's see how we did with the coffee. It's warm. It's not hot, but I think it'll do. Give it a last little shake.
Smells like instant coffee. And now we'll check out the chicken pesto pasta. Still some heat in here. It's definitely calmed down a lot. It feels like it's got some good heat in the bottom. This one still has the notches on the long side. It does make it easier to get out with a spoon. It's kind of a big clump there. I think uh, if I had heated that in hot water instead, it probably would have looked a little more appetizing. But uh, it smells good. This is a chicken pesto pasta. In addition to the chicken, it has uh, gemelli pasta. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Let's get the pasta in there. Olive oil, Parmesan cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, garlic, spices, pine nuts, and a number of other small things. So yeah, you can see the pesto sauce on there. Some pretty good sized chunks of chicken. Guess this is the uh, Processed sort of chicken. Doesn't look too bad though. Uh, there's some sun dried tomatoes. Wow, that's a, that's a huge one right here. I was going to say it's basically just the chicken and the pasta with the sauce, but that's a, that's a good sized sun dried tomato. And you can see the pine nuts in here, they're pretty big. So this looks good. Let's give it a taste. Get some of a uh, little bit of everything here. That's good. It's uh, flavorful. It's not too strong, but it's uh, definitely got some flavor to it. It's uh, certainly something different from the standard pasta dishes that have the uh, tomato sauce. Try some of the sun dried tomato here. Yeah, I'm liking this. It's got enough flavor, I'm not going to have to add any salt or pepper. The pasta seems to be uh, pretty good. It's hard to keep pasta good in a retort pouch, it can certainly get kind of soggy as it sits in the sauce for a number of years. And this one is uh, it's getting close to being a year old, so um, it's not too mushy. So I'm sure it's not as firm as some people might like it if they were cooking it themselves, but uh, keeping in mind it's a ration, it's in a pouch. I think it's very good. And even though this is the one, uh, or one of the two uh, current XMRE dishes that's not like a Southwestern style dish, it um, is keeping with the fact that they seem to be picking the ones that have a lot of flavor. Because there certainly are some memories that are pretty bland and they need to have some hot sauce or some salt and pepper just to kick them up. And you think with all the ingredients in here and with all the sodium, it should taste good. And this actually, this actually does have a good flavor to it. Wasn't really sure what to expect from uh, the pesto pasta. As I said, I'd never had it before. But I think I'll probably have this one again. I suppose we should try some of the other stuff too. Let's see how warm this coffee is. It's lukewarm. It's still better than uh, being totally cold, I guess, unless you want iced coffee. And that's just fine. It's just instant coffee. Try the uh, oatmeal cookie here. And these are always pretty good, in my opinion. You can see the oats in there. It's a crunchy cookie, but it's not gonna not gonna break your teeth or anything, and it's uh, just got the right amount of flavor. It's not overly sweet, but it's definitely not bland either. Put a little bit of apple jelly on here. I've heard people say that you should try that. You know, like I said, it doesn't need extra flavor, but we've got the apple jelly, might as well use it, right? I 
That's good. It's a nice addition. Let's try the vegetable cracker with the apple jelly. It certainly isn't worth complaining about, but if you really wanted to find something about this to say you weren't crazy about, it could be the fact that the, uh, the apple jelly is a little bit on the runny side. It kind of uh, it's dripping all over the place and making things a little sticky, which isn't a problem when you're eating in your house and you can clean up easily. But if you're out in the field or out camping or something, it could be, I could see it being kind of annoying, getting all sticky. Try the nut and raisin mix. A little bit of everything in there. Lots of sunflower seeds. Now that's really good. It's uh, sort of like I said, it's so surprising that it's um doesn't have salt in it. It kind of makes it like a low sodium option, even though the rest of the stuff has plenty in it. But it's still it's still not boring. The sunflower seeds are still good, and the uh, raisins give it just the right amount of sweetness. So that's uh, that's a good one. It's like I always say with these dry fruit mixes and these nut raisin mixes, they make make something good if you're out hiking. It's a good thing to have while you're walking around. Like I guess that just leaves us with the orange beverage based powder drink. which is an old MRE standby from way back. It's perfectly fine. Tastes kind of like a, like a tank sort of a thing. Kind of like a Kool-Aid too. It's not so much like a Gatorade. But like I said before, it's, it's a nice alternative to just having plain water. So that was a look at XMRE's menu number three MRE, chicken pesto pasta from 2015. Thank you for watching.